This morning we found out that the FDA has uh, loosened regulations allowing um, labs like ours, high complexity laboratories, to be able to run um, Genmark uh, commercial diagnostic testing. Um, we have a Genmark platform available and cartridges available to start testing in the UAB Diagnostic Virology Laboratory. But until the FDA issued guidance that was available this morning, we weren't able to utilize those tests. So now we are able to utilize those tests. The second most important part of the updates from the FDA are that now instead of laboratories like ours that are developing our own diagnostic tests, having to submit um, our validation data to the FDA, we can now interact directly with the Alabama Department of Public Health. What we're doing is bringing in two laboratory developed tests. These are two customized tests that we'll be doing here at UAB. And that allows us by the end of this week to ramp up the ability, the number of tests we can do per day to 100. Um, within the following week, we can do uh, about 150 to 200 uh, per day. And then the week after that, the numbers are up to uh, about four to 800 tests per day. Another thing that we're doing is working with diagnostic test companies on multiple platforms and multiple systems to increase capacity. So uh, nationwide, one of the uh, issues is that there's such a demand that um, reagents for lots of diagnostic tests are not available, uh, which is why we're going the LDT route, um, which is a laboratory developed test, developing our own test. That enables us to uh, obtain the reagents to be able to perform the test. Um, so uh, lots of commercial manufacturers are ramping up their production, making tests available, and we're working uh, to bring up several of these here at UAB.